We're now joined by Darren Murphy, the Cove uh, Ramblers manager, and Benjamin Button, uh, who's getting involved with Bray Wanderers. You're you're actually getting younger looking, Devo. I remember seeing you at the Carlisle Grounds, must be 25 years ago. Don't think you've aged at all. Well, I tell you what, you don't look too good. You've got to go and get a health check by the look of you. <laughs> that, that may also be right. <laughs> yeah, everything's good, yeah. We get on with it and keep going. Love every bit of it. Nothing changes every year. It's the same. Just try and get the results and get a little bit of, uh, you know, emotion into the thing not only that but desire and hunger and try and win a trophy that's what you want to do how long are you managing now uh oh my god um start yeah I, I started off around uh, about early 80s and um i i don't uh, count so i don't like looking back and count. what's a 40 years ago yeah about at least 40 well if you go back then playing the league of ireland i'm around about 50 years but sure it doesn't feel that Honestly, it just like every year is a challenge. Every year is different, and you know, new players, new staff, and new games, and bad results, good results. So you just get on with it, and, and uh, you try and put the, your best foot forward and, and make sure you get the right results. That's all you can do. And Darren Murphy, a lot of managers probably think they're lucky to get 50 weeks now nowadays. It's just it's not that sort of. I'm not I'm not looking at you now. You know, pressure of COVID this season, all that. But different kind of uh, I suppose eras to when Devo started. Yeah, look, there's a lot more demand there now, isn't there? We, we demand off our players, but also we're demanded on the outside from fans and people around. And I suppose, you know, everyone wants to to be a manager at some stage. And, you know, the, especially with the badges now and stuff, you know, people want to go. So that's that's just the way football has gone. Um, you know, Pat is lucky enough to be in the, in the game a long time. Learned everything I, I, I know off him. Everything? I everything. That, well, not everything, yeah. but... Uh, you, you know who to blame things, if yeah, it goes yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 A train, yeah, he, a carrot every morning, Pat, is it? Is that what it is? It's, uh, it's on two now. <laughs> two carrots, yeah, yeah. Metaphorical carrot or an actual carrot. What's the carrot and the stick for coal players this season? Yeah, as I said, like, you know, that hunger and desire and go to win a championship, you know, like, it's, I suppose the the prize for all the first division teams is to go to the Premier, you know, and that's that's why it's every year, it's getting more competitive, it's getting better, it's, you know, more better equipment. You know, players are getting fitter and stronger because the prize at the end of it is to go to the Premier Division. Then, you know, there's a chance at Europe and I'm trying to really kind of drive that into players and even younger players, you know, trying to get into the League of Ireland. It's a great, you know, uh, stop and grow for your own career as a professional footballer if you if you make it, if you're lucky enough to make it. And I was myself when I when I played, you know, and uh, the I suppose you're, you're looking to get into these lads as well that, you know, how, how good of an opportunity is to play like in the we're in the first division it's the top second league in this country has to offer like you know so that that to me in itself is 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 is, is the championship prize like you know yeah there were three premier uh, league games on last night but i decided to watch uh, derby and hull and said there were three irish lads playing including sean mclaughlin who's been brilliant for hull came from cork city he's flying it in england and i guess a lot of young players can see there is promotion as well to other leagues if you want to progress yeah, there has to be that progression, you know, and th- that's why the you know the league is putting in so much effort to to have a progression because if there's no progression, it's same as any business, you know, you, you have to have something to aim for, um, and I think even looking at those players, you know, probably bit advertised a bit more to younger players, that there is a chance and there is an opportunity, you know, if you if you go and take it, like. Just um, Bray and Cabantini, the merger. What would you tell fans of either club uh, in terms of the new season, how it's going to work out? Well, there's only one club, it's Bray Wanderers, and that's it. You just get on with it, and uh, it's like anything in life. You've got to embrace change, and, uh, you know, we've worked very, very hard over the last couple of months, harder than I think I've ever worked before, and uh, it's only for one thing, and it's for Bray Wanderers to win the league or get promoted, and what is same as Darren, we're, we're all going to compete. It's going to be, a, I think it's going to be a great league this year. There's some great teams. He's done a great Cork job. City, Galway United, and Watford. You know the money that they're putting in the stadium they have, and then to mention the other six as well. How competitive it could be? Well, you know, as I said, they're full time. You got Galway, you got Water, you got Cork. But on top of that, Wexford, Cove done brilliant last year. Bray's a new entity now. Forget about it. What happened last year? They're new. It, it depends on how we start off. Of course, we have a lot of new players. How long it'll take for them to to gel together? But overall, it's a fantastic league. Long have been uh, relegated they're going to be very very strong so and Treaty had a fantastic year last year so I don't think there's any club in, in the league and say well this is going to be a handy little game this year it's not it's going to be very competitive and uh, you know made the best team win it and that's it you have to get on with it my first away game was Galway United uh, Bray Wanderers at the Carlisle Grounds many years ago probably mid to late 90s bunked off school you're back you're back in the Carlisle Grounds yeah look you know I never look back genuinely I, I don't I just say this is another game this is another year 
I'm fortunate enough to be back in. I love the Carlisle grounds, great history there, family wise, and How everything. How sad else. if that ground had gone. It's great that it's still there, the central location and the beautiful architecture around the ground and all that. Well, I, I think you've summed it up by saying that. I mean, if Bray and Cavendish hadn't come together, there was a possibility that both clubs or one club would have went, and, and that's it. So now there's a, there's a real future. I mean, we've done some great work. We've relayed the pitch already. We've The, the lights have been done, new showers have been in, new dugouts. It's just fantastic what's going on, and there's a lot of energy around the place and we just hope we can produce that on the pitch because that's all very fine off the pitch but you're only going to be judged on the pitch but no it is great and it's a lovely tradition there and it's a lovely place to play against no different than it is in Galway or Cove or anywhere else and we all love our football and we want to keep it going so I hope people just buy into it I mean I think this year we've sold more, sold more season tickets than we, they have done over the last four years so you know signs are good and it's hard not to have a soft spot for St Coleman's Park yeah, look, it's a, it's a lovely pitch to play and I think any footballer that wants to, uh, you know, come down there and, and compete as well, you know, it's a it's an old school pitch, you know, but it, as Pat said there, the facilities are improving every year and, and, and that's what we want to the clubs and it's great to see it, even though it's, you know, if, if your own club's doing a bit or another club is doing a bit more, that's the most important thing for me is that, you know, like the, they do put money into the facilities and and, and you know the fans come to the games so come to the games <laughs> absolutely come to the games it's going to be a brilliant first vision this season nine teams five vying for a promotion um, for the playoffs uh, at worst any advice you'd give to this manager beside you in terms of the season ahead you know he's giving your experience for anything you could impart to him yeah have the cup of tea ready this year when I come up What's that about? Just get used to the medication there. <laughs> You'll need it. <laughs> there you go. You can't, uh, you can't argue with the experience. Darren Murphy and Pat Devlin, head of the SEC Electricity First Division campaign this season.